protests in Haiti, this time around led by men in police uniforms. They were angry about the killings of officers over the last few days. They killed 15 policemen in one month. After God, then comes the police. We stand with our policemen. Some went to the capital's airport, stopping Prime Minister Ariel Henry from leaving it after he arrived from a summit in Argentina. We need a revolution. We need to have a bloodbath if Ariel Henry signs a pact with the bandits. A lot of police are dead and he didn't say anything, not even a tweet for the policeman who died. We are in the streets to fight for our brothers and sisters who are victimized by the bandits. We have to take to the streets every day to get what we want. Eventually, Prime Minister Henri managed to leave the airport, but he's at the head of a political crisis in Haiti. Powerful gangs now control more than 60% of the capital, Port-au-Prince, following a breakdown in institutional order triggered by the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse in 2021, unleashing levels of violence not seen here in decades, extorting, murdering, raping to control those in their dominions. Gangs have increasingly resorted to the deliberate killing of men, women and children as young as 10 years old, have been brutally raped, a tactic that spread fear and destroys the social fabric of communities under the control of rival gangs. The Haitian police are hopelessly overmatched. The United Nations is advocating for an international force to be deployed to keep law and order in the country. But so far, no one wants to lead it. Meanwhile, Haiti burns slipping ever closer to a failed state. John Holman, Al Jazeera.